My name is Thomas Mazzaglio. I'm the beachcomber on INAT and I'm from Sydney uh, in New South Wales in Australia. I can go out, I can take a photo of some really interesting bug, upload it to iNaturalist and then someone on the other side of the world can literally identify it within the next minute for me and then if it becomes, if it ends up becoming research grade, it only takes a week or two to go to GBIF. So immediately you have these records that are not only usable on iNaturalist themselves if people export the data directly from INAT, but then also go to these external data aggregators literally within a week or two. Um, so it's just really that rapid turnaround that I think is, is quite valuable. We now have a lot of really great statistical techniques that even though these iNaturalist data aren't being collected in a standardized uh, way, there are just so many ways that uh, you, can, you can manipulate the data and use the data now, thanks to these advances in statistical technology, that these opportunistic data points actually do become uh, really valuable. They are really great for researchers in particular that are trying to find records where they may not have the time or the money or the resources to go out and survey those species themselves. So iNaturalist is a really great port of call for a lot of these um, data deficient species and threatened species because that data collection has, has been done for you, especially in the case of things like uh, range extensions, where you get a lot of citizen scientists finding things popping up where the researchers never knew that they existed before. Once you get over that initial hurdle of learning how to use the platform, it's really intuitive and the workflow is really, really fast. So it's everything is kind of done for you. If you go back maybe 15 years, a lot of these experts would be identifying citizen records through emails. But here on iNaturalist, you know, you've got 30 records sitting on the page all in front of you. And if it's something really easy to identify and recognize, it's literally just a single click of a button on the agree button. And it takes one second to identify something. And then if it's something a bit trickier, you just click on the window, you go to pop up, you can see the photos, you can see the map, you can see the date. It's all there in front of you. And it's all just streamlined to allow you to go through and identify things as fast as possible and make things as easy as possible. It's just this completely globalized platform where I've had essentially real-time discussions on an observation with people from three or four different continents all chiming in at the same time, all different time zones, uh, and able to have this, this real-time discussion about the identification of something, which I just think is absolutely incredible. Uh, and it just makes the experts, from a citizen scientist perspective, it just makes the experts so much more approachable. It's really sparked a lot of external collaborations just by accidentally bumping into other experts and identifiers on our naturalist. So this is kind of like reason five, but more so the uh, education side of things and more so the citizen science, the citizen aspect of it, where it gives you that chance to really get your work out there and, and really take on that educational role. I do think that a lot of experts find that a really gratifying experience to have people really interested in your work. You know, you, you might be someone who's worked on this esoteric group of bugs for the past 40 years, and now suddenly you've got this whole community of people who are really, really passionate about the same group of insects that you are. And that gets you really excited as an expert as well, that other people are interested in, in that same really niche thing that you are. Many experts, they are just generally passionate naturalists, and that's why many people get into the taxonomy and, and ecology business because they're really passionate about the natural world. And iNaturalist just offers this opportunity to really live uh, vicariously through other naturalists from around the world. You can be sitting in an apartment block in the most urbanized city in the world and you can go through and look at observations from uh, deep sea Antarctica, from the remote jungles in the Amazon, the outback of Australia, uh, and you just get to experience all these amazing species from around the world that you may never have the opportunity to actually see yourself and just really brings a, a smile to your face.